Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with another envelope project. Uh, so this time I've used one envelope. Leo, don't knock over my glue. Leo's right over here. Um, I've used one envelope and I've made uh, another flip, but this time, darling, off you go. Go on, honey. Um, this time on the back side is a little pad of paper. This is some of Tracy Fox's new Nature Snippets uh, kit, which is gorgeous. And I printed that on coffee stained paper, so it's even a little more yellow and grungy. So, the way it works is you would put it over a journal page like so, and you've got yourself a little tuck spot in here. Sorry. <laughs> and on the back of the page would be an extra bit of writing paper or you flip it this way and you can put this the writing paper on either side it doesn't have to be on the whoops on the right um, and I've got a little envelope there with some medieval mirage some Tracy Fox and then the paper on the other side has the other side of the pad so that's it so in the interest of time let's get started let me see if I can move this munchkin along. All right, darling, this isn't going to work with you here. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Sorry if things got knocked. Okay, so you're going to need a, um, a, a small envelope, and I've used a um, it's three and a half by six and a half. Okay, so what you want to do, you don't want to seal it yet, Leo. Uh, you want to um, open the flap and you want to cut to the depth that you want your pocket. So it really varies according to your wishes. So that's probably about two and a half inches. And then you very, very lightly just kind of eyeball the other side to do the same thing. And I think. Where did that go? I'm going to show you how thin it was. Wow. Okay, you guys probably all see it. And Oh, there it is. That's how thin it is. Really thin. But it is open. So then, I'm still keeping that. I'm not glued anything yet. And I'm just going to cut it at the top there. So if you see what we've got, we've got all of this. And then I fold it to the front like so and if it lines up here and here then it should be straight there okay I'm going to take that out and hope hope that Mr. Leo doesn't get it I don't know if you can hear him purring off to the side so I hope you're all well it is hot 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 here so there essentially that's going to be our pocket um, right there. Okay. So what you want to do is just glue the envelope down. I guess you could have done that before. Um, I just find it's a little easier if you have it open when you try and make that little slit. There we go. So then you want a piece of paper that you want to cover it with. And I cover cut it to the width or the height which is six and a half and the width is three and a half so I double it and I add a little bit more just for the fold. So all you need to do similarly to how we've done others and you want to be careful not to go above that fold line. And The nice thing about that fold line is it actually gives us extra stability to the front of the pocket. <coughs> And then you want to, this is not going to be easy on my angle. Yeah, you want to just line it up with this side, like so, and the bottom, like that, right? So we've got that open. The next thing you want to do is you can see where the pocket begins. So I just want to cut it to there. like 
so. Okay, and then we want to just fold it over because we're going to glue the back in a second. But before we do that, I like to just fold this down. I have tried folding this into the, fold, into the pocket. It is just a little too tedious. So if you fold it down, you can, you can try and tear it, which gives it a fun edge, or you can try and cut it. I'm just going to try and tear it, and I don't mind if it goes down a little bit because that's just going to add to the, uh, the grungy look, and we're going to be inking a little on it anyway. So then we're just going to put, whoops, glue all across the back. And I'm using um, my art glitter glue, but you could actually, a glue stick would be fine for this. Yeah, for, for sure. You can see him or his paws coming into frame. But So, yes, I hope you're all well. It is hot, hot, hot here. So, um, I'm not complaining because, you know, we had a long winter, but it is super hot. So there's this. And so this is the point, if you're going to put any ink on, that I would ink that because we're going to cover that back a little bit. So isn't it? I think that looks good like so. So we'll ink that now. And then what I've done is I've cut of a contrasting fabric, or fabric, my goodness, paper. I cut a size which is the width, three and a half, and then I've cut three inches because I knew I wasn't gonna go down that far. And then what I do is I just very lightly make a little, kind of wedge it a little tiny bit in the last half inch. That just helps you get in there so that you'll be able to put that on and once again, if it doesn't fit exactly, there's a bit of white there, we're going to ink that anyway. So, I just do this. I'm not going to worry about having glue underneath the pocket because um, it's not going to, it shouldn't be a challenge, or it shouldn't be a problem. The paper is not going to lift uh, from there. Perfect. Okay, sealing along. <laughs> And no trimming required. That's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do the top because that is going to get the fabric on it. Uh, and I'm just going to very quickly ink, and that just gets rid of any little bits of white there might be that we don't want uh, peering out. And just around the back, like so. And like so. Okay. So, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need to make yourself a little bit of paper from your scraps. So I have five pieces here, I usually do five or six, and this is again Tracy's snippets, nature snippets, and I have some of my Roxy Creation um, straw paper, some nice lawn paper, lined paper that I coffee dyed, and some regular paper. So what I do is I make it as long, six and a half, some of the pieces and some shorter. Um, and then I make sure the piece on the top, here and here, I just tear it just to give it a little bit of interest. Okay, so you're going to want a piece of muslin, and this muslin was two inches wide when I tore it, and then it frayed a little bit more. And you want it to be the width, three and a half inches, uh, of, your, um, of your pocket, your envelope pocket. So, I don't know what I'm going to call these. I'll have to figure that out by the time this loads, which generally takes, you know, hours and hours. Um, I'll have time to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so we just want to put your fabric there. I'm just going to turn that over. That's the back side. And um, I like having this side with the front side. So what I'm going to do is just put some more glue here. And I apologize if I'm going really quickly. Um, 
Normally I would probably do what I show you how I did the envelope twice, but um, in the interest of time and slow internet, we're going to go this way. So I make sure there's at least half an inch, half an inch to three quarters of an inch between the two, and that's for the hang over the uh, paper. And that's it. I mean, that is how we make the pouch. And then we do our decorating. And what I do once this is dry, and what I've done with the other uh, one, sorry, Lee, Leo, yeah, yeah, is I sewed across and across uh, as well, which I think just, it, I did that more for look than anything else because, quite frankly, it is fine. Um, without it. It doesn't need it for uh, stability is my point. All right, so I, what I've done is I've taken a little glassine bag and I've just inked around the outside and I've put a little Medieval Mirage card. I've printed this on cardstock, which is fabulous. And I'm just going to use some um, a little bit of paper, and that's Medieval Mirage there. So I'm just going to zhuzh up the little the back before I put that on. Uh, so we just this is the fun bit. Just decorate however you'd like, really. Um, and you don't have to use a glassine bag. If you don't have one, you could make your own. You could just do a little tuck spot. You can have a little tag tuck spot. I think that would be really pretty there. Uh, because that's a clear bag, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac on it, which is kind of gummy at the moment. So just a little skiff there. You hear vehicles out there. It's, um, I think someone's getting some work done on their cottage, so there's workers around. So we've got that, and what do we want for, how about a nice, that looks nice. So I'm just going to put a Tracy Fox label up here. And I want to put it in this corner, mostly because I've got interest down here and I just want to kind of draw your eye down. So that's how quick it is to do the back. And then if we want to do the front, we kind of go through the same process. I have my, um, oh, I love that. Yeah, I think that would be really cute there. And what do we want for papers? Let me just see what have we got here. Oh, this might be good. So yeah, I just tear a bunch of things off and then play with them. So we've got that, which is Medieval Mirage, and I think this is, and this is, or it may be um, some, um, I kind of mix up some of those beautiful damask looking pat patterns because with Artie Mace, because I also have her beautiful uh, papers as well. Okay, that's getting stuck. Just a second. Let's see if we can change my needle. There we go. It's because it's so hot here, it's um, drying very quickly. Okay, so there we go. We'll stick this cutie on here. Do we want a, do we want a little label of some sort? Oh, that's pretty. What if we put that on top afterwards? Okay. <laughs> That's a, a new one of Tracy's new, uh, I think it's, they're called antiquity labels. I apologize, I don't always know the name of things. I have so many wonderful things from Tracy and from um, Mrs. Cog, and um, I am very, very lucky to get to use a lot of their fun stuff. I'm just going to trim that. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm not going to ink that, I don't always ink, and we're just going to put some glue there. And I'll set this up here, 
and see how that Terry it just looks really cool it just gives it an old fun funky look let me see I've got a couple of tags one with a Tracy Fox one with a Tracy Fox butterfly label which is fun too so yeah this is the one we just made easy peasy and like I said it showed you earlier it just goes over your page so it's a uh, envelope flip pocket notebook <laughs> yikes that's a lot to say fun to do easy to make give it a roll guys I think you will love it I know I've enjoyed making them so we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.